Hey guys, so today I've got the newer product, the Kiehl's Pure Vitality Renewing Cream, which initially was out and then it went away and now it's back out again. And I must say the first thing that it really drew me to this was the packaging. So this is it. It doesn't come in a box or anything like that. Uh, but it does come in an airless jar, which is a unique airless jar, one that I've never really seen, any, seen before. So you push your finger on the product like that and then it comes out so it's a little bit fussy or really fussy but it's still a good way to protect the product although a traditional airless jar would have probably been much easier probably cheaper for the company although I am interested to see how the last little bit comes out of it anyway so I've got this their other newer product that they came out with was their calendula infused uh cream serum cream which, uh, to be honest, it had a lot of alcohol in it, so I'm not a huge fan of it. But if you have more oily skin, a lot of people with more oily skin liked it. So, I don't know. Just a thought. So, this product, obviously, I like the packaging. Uh, in terms of denatured alcohol, it doesn't have any, so that's a very good thing. Uh, however, in terms of fragrance, it's not as fragrant as a lot of other Kiehl's products, uh, which is a good thing. It really, the scent is hardly noticeable, so... That's a good thing. However, it does have a lot of fragrance ingredients. So uh, let me start with uh, cedar wood bark oil, uh, Ling Ling oil, vanilla plantifolia fruit extract, which is a fragrance ingredient, but it's also an antioxidant that's high in polyphenols. So that's a good ingredient, even though it adds a bit of a vanilla scent, uh, very good for skin. Uh, let's see what else was in there. Uh, and then we've got uh, orange peel oil, geranium flower oil, limonene, and then benzyl benzonate, benzoate. And that is an ingredient, actually it's a fragrance ingredient which has been used for a long time to repel lice. So it's kind of gross and also uh, repelling other insects. Uh, what else was on there? Oh, and also um, like mites that people get like on their skin. I, people get like mites on their arms and Anyway, they're hard to get rid of, but that is an ingredient that's used to get rid of them. So it's kind of gross. It also can be a big skin irritant. So it's almost the last ingredient. So I really wish they had just left that out. Because when I read something's used for lice and mites and I don't know, it doesn't make me excited about the product. So I don't know. Do you guys freak out when you see that? I don't know. Anyway, so it does have fragrance ingredients, although the fragrance isn't very noticeable. It's, I can't even smelled on my hand even though I just applied it. So I really wish they had just left them out all together. It really doesn't do anything good for the product. So anyway, okay, so uh, it's made in the U.S., so no issues with that. Ease of use, uh, they recommend using this morning and evening, and it's got a thicker texture to it, kind of a creamy texture to it, but it absorbs pretty quickly, although uh, I found in the morning, if I applied this directly before foundation, I didn't use like a primer or anything, it did have a tendency to make my foundation feel a little greasy. So I've just been using it in my evening routine, in which it uh, works very well. I use it after cleansing, toning, and lighter serums. And then if you use a thicker sleeping mask, use that over this. So uh, very easy to use, no issues at all with that. Uh, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients. Uh, I've got quite a few good ones in here. Shea butter. Uh, arginine, which is a good amino acid, uh, lecithin, honey's in there, um, ginseng, uh, then we've got beeswax, vitamin E, salicylic acid, and soybean oil. So we've got some really good hydrating ingredients in there. So they did a good job with that. Uh, in terms of animal testing, keel cells in China, so they are not cruelty free. Uh, performance, it really is quite hydrating. So if you find yourself not having any issues with uh, some of those fragrance ingredients or any allergies or uh, irritants, irritating from that, uh, it does do a great job hydrating skin, especially for like the winter coming. It really does a great job. I think that beeswax uh, and then the honey kind of just seal and everything else underneath it and just do a great job keeping your skin hydrated. So I was very happy with that. Thankfully, I haven't had any uh, dermatitis from any of the fragrance ingredients. Uh, so that's a good thing. So it performs nicely. Now the price with this is 1.7 ounces. This is the full size and it retails for $65. So if you think about it this way, for $3 more, you could just get the Proteini, which I love. I'll be doing a uh, dupes video of this in the next few days, but uh, for $3 more, you could get that. So something to think about. I don't know. Maybe you're not a huge drunk elephant fan or not. I don't know. But anyway, something to think about. So it is pricey, although I love that uh, 
Ulta and Sephora, they've been having sales frequently, so it's worth checking that out. And then in terms of the it factor, really, if they would have left that fragrance out, especially the benzo benzonate, I would have been much more on board to give it the it factor because, to be honest, most of the Kiehl's moisturizers just don't work well for me, and this one is one that has. So I really like this one. Most of the other moisturizers either just have too much fragrance or too much alcohol or just aren't hydrating enough. So this one really is much better than a lot of them, especially if you have drier skin, but... Um, it's got a few issues, and then the price is one of them, but I do love the packaging and uh, a lot of the good ingredients in there. So overall, I gave this a 6 out of 10, which is still pretty decent. A few changes would have went a long way for me anyway. So I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to give this a try yet, and if you have what your thoughts are, so definitely leave a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, stay tuned later this week. I'll have my Drunk Elephant video out and uh, more coming out this week. So thank you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow.